Good evening, everyone. I'm Rachel Zerby. There was plenty of boys and girls high school hoops action around the UP tonight, and it starts in West Ishpeming. To Patriot Country, as the Redmen are in town. Marquette dominated the home defense early on. Marius Grizzulis throws one up and gets his own rebound and tosses it in with ease. On the next possession, we'll see more from him. It's Grizzulis again, same Marius, same easy lay-in. Later in the quarter, he would have a heck of a night. This one is good from downtown. He finished with 20 points and 11 rebounds. That would light a fire under the Patriots as Blake Hewitt drives and gets the foul and the and one. Later on for the Patriots, Zach Nemi drives and dumps this one to Cameron Mason, and that one from downtown is good. On the next possession, Joshua Carr finds Ethan Burke, who drives the lane and nets that one, but the effort wouldn't stick. Redmond steal this one heavily, 54-22. to To the scoreboards, Gwynn got the win at home over Manistique with a 68-59 to win. Austin Forbes had 33 points for the Model Towners. Jeffers won a close one over Republic Michigami, 49-43. Iron Mountain picked up another win over West Iron County, 71 to 55. Marcus Johnson and Foster Wanders combined for 49 points in the win. Besmer won big at home over Hancock, 79 to 29. The Hematites hosting the Gremlins from Houghton to the third quarter. Gavin Sunberg on the run. He makes his way to the hoop for the bucket, and the Hematites lead 48 to 20. Let's have a three-point contest. First, it's Ishpeming's Dondre Yoey. Then it's Brad Serrard for Houghton with one, two. Three long balls in a row for him, but the Gremlins trail by 22 points. Late in the third, Hart Holmgren to Darius Yohe on the run, and he throws it down with one hand. And Ishpamine wins 70-48. to To Munici now, where the Broncos in town. In the first, Stangs up three. Kay Contreras maneuvers his way to the hoop to lay it in. He had a big night finishing with 29. On the other end, Ben Schultz cuts to the rack, gets the pass, and finishes to pull the Broncos within five. Later in the first, Logan Heim receives the pass on the left wing and connects from downtown. The Broncos now down a bucket. On the other end, Anthony Matson getting involved in the scoring. He gets the bucket, and the Mustangs are up three on Munising's next possession. Inside or outside, it doesn't matter for Matson. He hits from behind the arc, and Munising would hang on to win a thriller 68-66. to Some more scores to report. Escanaba won by 40 at home against Menominee with a final of 83-43. to North Central won a close one with Carney Nato 56-50. The Panthers improved to 12 and 0 with a 77 to 45 win over Ontonagon. Jake Witt had 29 points, 19 rebounds, 6 blocks and 4 assists. Wakefield Marinesco won at home over Chassel with a final of 81 to 67. Mid Peninsula hung on to beat Superior Central 54 to 52 and Gladstone won 65 to 57 over Kingsford. So girls hoops now, the Braves visiting the Miners of Nagani. Mackenzie Karki opens up the scoring with a long-range jumper, and the Miners are up early. On the other end, it's Megan Crow. She catches and shoots and drains it to get the Braves on the board and even things out. Crow working both ends. She denies Karki under the hoop, but the Braves are still losing, still in the first quarter. Claire Johnson coming down the court. She pulls up and sinks the long ball. She finished with 19. This time it's Natalie Bartle in transition. She goes the length of the court and finishes off the glass. She finished with 27 points, 10 steals, 6 assists, and 6 rebounds. And Nagani's perfect season continues with a 66-42 defeat over Gladstone. And one girl scored a report. Norway beat Stevenson on the road 45-36. And a pair of hockey scores. Kingsford won over Jeffers 7-4. And Hancock beat Calumet 3-1.